As a pastor working with migrants, students, people with mental illnesses and divorcees, depressions and isolations are common especially in today's modern living. Left untreated, they can lead to reliance on alcohol, drugs or even suicide. But let me share with you a true story of hope. A recent widow challenged by her doctor practiced her faith by sharing her passion for African violence. Years passed when she died, thousands mourned, hailed her as the African violet queen of Milwaukee. People talk about her joy, her passion, and her acts of love. I think her depression was healed. In today's world, the struggle with depression and isolation is all too common. Many people face overwhelming feelings of sadness and loneliness, finding it challenging to connect with others and discover a sense of purpose. The weight of these emotions often leads to a deep sense of despair, making it difficult to see a way out. In the 1950s, there was a recent widow who lived alone in a big house. She was sick, lonely and depressed. She didn't feel like her life had much purpose anymore. One day, a doctor named Dr. Erickson visited her. He noticed her passion for growing African violets and saw a way to help her. Dr. Erickson told her that she could make a difference in the world by sharing her love for growing plants as a practicing Christian. He suggested she give her violets as gifts to people in her community who were celebrating important life events. This simple act of kindness brought her joy and gave her a sense of purpose. Years passed and the woman touched many lives with her gifts. When she passed away, she was remembered as the African Violet Queen of Milwaukee. The whole city mourned as thousands of people were touched by her act of kindness showing the love of God. Her story inspires millions to share their own talents with the world, even when they feel down. But let's be real for a moment. Depression is a serious and complex issue. It's not as simple as just finding a hobby or a creative outlet. I know what it's like to struggle with sadness and helpless to feel like every day is a battle. It can make everything in life seem difficult and exhausting. The story doesn't provide all the answers and we don't know if the woman was completely cured of her depression, but finding something she loved and sharing it with others brought her some happiness and that's important. I believe that sharing our creativity and connecting with others can be a way to fight against depression and loneliness. It might not be the only solution, but it can be a part of it. This story has made me think about my own life and the things I love doing. It's a reminder that even small acts of creativity and connection can make a difference. So I've decided to start sharing my own resources, knowledge, acts of love and talents with the world, one step at a time for God's glory. Amidst this prevailing darkness, the story of the African Violet Queen offers a glimmer of hope. It reminds us of the transformative power of sharing our gifts and talents with others, even in the face of our own struggles. As the Bible teaches us in Acts 20.35, it is more blessed to give than to receive. This timeless wisdom emphasizes the joy and fulfillment that come from selflessly giving to others. When we focus on helping those around us, we not only bring light into their lives, but also find healing and purpose in our own. This story resonates with Acts 20 verse 35 it is more blessed to give than to receive when we help others not only do we bring glory to god we bring light to the lives of many and find healing and purpose in our own lives thank you for watching this video if you like it and inspired by it please share it with your friend especially if they're depressed and isolated and subscribe and i'll see you soon